Giving your offspring a good start in life can take a lot of effort, so some insects have evolved highly complex strategies to induce other species to become nursemaids on their behalf. This Californian desert hardly seems to be the best place to find nursemaids, but blister beetles have an amazing way of discovering them. It starts simply enough with the female beetle. She has dug a hole and is now laying her eggs in it. That done, she abandons them. A few centimetres below the surface of the sand, conditions are good for eggs. Not too cold, neither too hot, even in the heat of the day. Six weeks later, they hatch. But these sands are very barren and scorching hot. Somehow the tiny larvae have got to find food and they won't find it here. Their survival depends on teamwork. Together, as a closely coordinated group, they climb up a stem of withered grass. When they get to the top, there's nowhere else to go. They look dangerously exposed to the sun and to other predators, but there they stay in a tight, squirming mass. For those that can get there, the top of this stem has become a stage for a remarkable piece of deception. What these larvae want is a lift, a ride, and they want it so badly that sometimes they'll even try and get it from a human finger. But what they're really searching for is not a human finger. They're searching for another insect. Here it comes, a female digger bee, leaving a tunnel that she's just dug for her own young. She's off to gather pollen. She packs it into baskets on her back legs and takes it back to her burrow. It'll provide valuable food for her young when they eventually hatch. And here comes a male. He's on the lookout for a female. To him, the cluster not only looks like a female, it smells like a female. For the beetle larvae are producing a perfume, a pheromone, that is exactly like that emitted by a female bee. He alights in order to mate, and in seconds is covered by the larvae that swarm all over him. At first, he seems stunned by the shock of his sudden increase in weight. But then he's off again. Now, his luck improves. This really is a female. And while he mates, his passengers jump ship. Now they're all on board a female bee. She, having mated, goes back to her nest to lay, taking the larvae with her. At last, the young beetle larvae have reached safety and food, the store of pollen that the female digger bee worked so hard to collect for her own young. So they hop off and tuck in. Not only do they consume the pollen, when that runs out, they will eat the young bee larvae too. <laughs> 